Good afternoon and welcome to the Florida Lottery. We are here today to announce the Florida winners who will share in the largest rec recorded lottery jackpot in world history. My name is Connie Barnes and I'm the communications director for the Florida Lottery. What an exciting time this has been for all of us. It's been exciting here at the Lottery, for the Melbourne Beach community, for our winners, and for all of Florida. The winners are here today, and you will meet them in just a moment. To introduce our Florida Lottery winners, would you please join me in welcoming Tom Della Sensory, Secretary of the Florida Lottery. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Florida Lottery Secretary Tom Della Sensory. On Wednesday, January 13th, with the drawing held right here at the Florida Lottery, the multi-state Powerball game posted the largest jackpot in history, 1.58 billion. During that historic 10-week run, Florida alone generated over $283 million in Powerball sales more importantly, the jackpot allowed the Florida Lottery to transfer over $114 million to the Educational Enhancement Trust Fund, underscoring our mission to help raise money for education in Florida. Winning tickets from that historic jackpot were identified in Tennessee, California, and Florida, splitting the jackpot three ways, with each share valued at Five hundred twenty-eight point seven million. Today, I have the news you've all been waiting for. The Florida winners are here, and their winning ticket has been validated. The Florida winners are claiming in the name of the Nickel Trust. The trustees are David Kaltschmidt and Maureen Smith from Melbourne Beach. They have elected to receive their winnings in a one-time lump sum payment of $327,800,000 before taxes. I know you're eager to meet our winners, so without further ado, please join me in welcoming David Kaltschmidt and Maureen Smith. So at this time, if you'd like to ask questions. Yeah. Can you tell us what you're going to do with the money? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you have plans for it already? Well, of course, we're going to take care of family. And we have a lot to think about. It's very stressful. It's new. And uh, really don't know. We have to think about it. Can you tell us about the day? What about the night when you guys discovered you won? Walk us through what happened when you saw that, those numbers and realized that okay. they were yours. Well, first of all, I had picked the numbers. They are numbers that I play for years, but I very rarely play. And I played and I went to bed. And the next morning when Dave got up. Yeah, I went to go to work and it was uh, like 6 a.m. And, you know, we had just had a, um, a Saturday drawing before and she had circled all the, the winners on that one. And when I woke up Wednesday, there were no circles on it. And oddly enough, I checked the ticket, and it, everything matched up. So I said, she's messing with me. <laughs> she really is. So, so was, was it just one ticket, or did you have, like, a number in 
you just bought one? Well, I put the, tick, the winning ticket was one, and I had a quick pick on another ticket. So it was, so it was a just the one. Three dollar investment. <laughs> I played the power up. What went through your mind when you put two and two together? Well, first when he brought the ticket to me and said, you know, are you messing with me? What are you doing? And, yeah. and I looked How at the numbers and I, I knew they were my numbers. And then I ran and I looked online to make sure they were correct and wrote them down. And we didn't believe it. We just kept watching yeah. TV and going online and rechecking and rechecking. And then they announced uh, the, yeah. the Publix, Melbourne Beach. We said, uh-oh, <laughs> this is the real deal. Yeah. But it was positive all. It was a Everyone's been trying to locate you. News crews have been in Melbourne Beach. Everyone's been asking around and not a peep. How did you stay under the radar for so long? We just kept quiet. Yeah, we absolutely quiet. Other than, our, other than legal advice, no. Just legal advice. Yeah. And uh, Publix is, that's my second home. And everybody so. there is so friendly. It's very right. hard not to tell them. Right. Could you tell us about the past month? What has this waiting period been like for you? Lost a lot of sleep. Yeah. Lost a lot of sleep. I lost over 10 pounds, too. You know, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of pacing at night, let me tell you. Cause the you, worry. You know, the worry yeah. of what's going to happen. Because right. we know that we're no longer in a quiet place. Right. So Can you guys tell us, a miss. Can you tell us a little bit about yourselves, how long you've been together, what your day jobs were? Yeah, I work for Northrop Grumman 34 years now. We'll, it, in, so I will be retiring. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm ready. What did you do for them? Uh, I'm a uh, manufacturing engineer uh, for that whole time, so haven't done a lot of job hunting. Let me tell you that. I just, mm -hmm. and they just want a big contract, so they're in a real good, good way. Uh, they can, they can do without me. And Maureen, I'm just a homemaker. How long have you been together? Since uh, 1980. Since 1980. Yeah, quite a while. Are, are you married? Is that safe? Yeah. Can be safe? Yes. yes. Do you have children? We'd rather not talk about yeah. Yeah, children or certain things we want yeah, to keep to ourselves at this time. Thank you. Can you talk about your decision to um, do the lump sum versus the payments? I mean, what was kind of the, what were the factors in that decision for you guys? Uh, the main reason I made the decision was my age. Yeah, so rather not, yeah, push it out too far. Just go ahead and get it. Yes. Yep. And uh, you mentioned that you've uh, been very stressed out. Uh, it's a lot of money. Um, are you a little worried that it may change you? Not really. It's going to change my day-to-day -day life. Instead of designing airplanes, I'm going to be doing, you know, um, charities and tax strategies and things, you know, investments. I'm so, afraid uh, it's going to make me less friendly yeah. because I'll be worried. Sweet, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Otherwise, that's, no. that's been a push to get the security up in the home and so forth. And, uh, How has it been going to work, like, for you, knowing you had this secret? Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, the, well, the first day I arrived uh, late to work, they all suspected I won. So. <laughs> so I had to say I didn't purchase a ticket. So I didn't lie. Uh, can you talk about those numbers? You say you've been playing them for years. Do they have any special significance for you or just happen to be? You know, I've been playing them for so many years, I really don't remember. But yeah. they're some in my them, head. I could never forget them. Some of them we know, some of them we don't remember. But yeah. It's real, liter literally been like 30 years playing those numbers. But not regularly, you say? Correct. No, no. Correct. Wow. How, what do is you, how do you explain it to someone? I mean, you know, everybody in this room wishes they were in your spot right now. <laughs> and everyone in this room imagined, we all sort of imagined what it must be like, you know, to, to have those numbers. We, we've all had the fantasy, you know, right. of actually winning and what I would do and, you know, the, 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 the life I would live. What's it like to actually be there? Well, like I said, it's scary and unknown. And uh, I mean, you always do think about what you're going to do. But when it happened, it's like it all went out of my head, you know. Just that I know I want to help special people in my life. Were you looking forward to this today or dreading it? Dreading it. <laughs> I'm looking to get it behind us. So, you know, we're out in the open. Now we can talk and joke about it. So it's. Has the feeling of like, oh my God, we won that kind of pit of your stomach feeling gone away, or do you still have that? No, it's still like it's a still pinch there. me. I, you know, we were on the plane here, and I, I couldn't believe. I said, this is really real. You know, it's it's just so overwhelming. You know. I was going to ask about that. So you guys flew here? Correct. That's, and that's what we'll say about that. <laughs> Can you tell us who all knew? It was uh, you two, obviously your counsel and immediate family. In, in the last week, it was we brought the family in. 
Not even your own children or, or relatives knew? Correct. How That's, hard was that to keep it? That was hard. That was really hard. Especially when everyone was saying, you know, you're from Melbourne Beach. Did you win? Right. Do you know who won? And it's been like, no. <laughs> and when I went to my friends for CPA, you know, I needed a CPA. I file short form normally, so I had to start soliciting help. And that's a very weird conversation because it spirals into, did you win the Powerball? You know, and it's not something you want to divulge right away. Are you staying in Melbourne Beach? Um, for now, possibly, yeah. Are going to go back to that Publix? Are we going? Eventually, yes, sure. definitely. Yeah, we love it down there. Yeah. Any of you have been there, it's, it's paradise, yeah. really is. Is there a significance to nickel, the nickel trust? Yes, but we're not talk about it right now, though. How long have you lived in Melbourne Beach? Since 91. Well, would you say that you're, the majority of the money you have is going to go to maybe charities and maybe not self-indulging or going to we family, or you haven't decided? We haven't figured out all the you know division of it yet, but uh, we know we need to We're not going to go party, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're still going to live the same lives, basically. I mean, my, car, my truck's about to fall apart, so I do need a, a vehicle. But he so will retire, and that's what he yeah. really wanted to do. And, uh, I hear an accent. Where are you originally from? Long Island, New York. And you moved to Melbourne in 91, you said? Correct. Okay. This may be a question for the lottery I actually participated in too. Did they did they write you a big check today or is it gonna come in installments? Did they any is, how do they how do they pay you guys? That's really Yeah. The devil's in the details. So uh, we're going to be able to it takes about two days uh, before we can actually deposit that money, but we're gonna try to work a little bit faster than that. So you're gonna give them all of the money in two days? In two days. Can you talk a little bit about the check to the <laughs> students and that sort of thing? I'm sorry? Can you talk a little bit to, to the, floor, the students, the check to the students and the other money that's involved in this? Well, we transfer on a monthly basis approximately $125 million to the Educational Enhancement Trust Fund. That money is then appropriated to the schools in a variety of ways by the legislature working with the Department of Education. Can I ask about for the, the family again? When you guys, did you see the reports of people who were like gathered outside of the home that wasn't the winners? Yes, we did. Well, keep in mind, I was busy at work. Keep in mind, I was busy at work, but yeah, she was watching it real time. What, what did you both mayhem, think? Mayhem, I guess, right? So. What did you both think of that mayhem as you were watching? That we wanted to wait. <laughs> we don't want that. We have a, a little street, so it's, um, you know, okay. We're done. Don't mean to catch you off, but we will take one more question. David? David and Maureen, I know you want to help other people, but what's the first splurge you want to make on yourself? He wants to get a new car. How about you? I really don't know yet. I want to get a massage. <laughs> okay. And could we get a spelling of your name so we have it spelled right? C A U L. We uh, have all of that information in the takeaways that will be on the back table when the uh, press event concludes. We will have a copy of the uh, press release that will go out shortly and also some follow-up facts about this Powerball drawing. Okay? And at this time, I'd like to go ahead and conclude the press conference. We really appreciate all of you being here. Um, if you have any follow-up questions, there is information about how you can get those. Uh, answers on the press release. So once again, thank you all for coming. Congratulations.